All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to track titles in DaVinci Resolve 17 using Fusion. Now, before, I would have to go to After Effects to do something like this, but with DaVinci Resolve 17, there's actually a lot of good templates, title templates that they added in the software. So with that being said, let's go ahead and drag and drop our footage here. We just have a simple footage from the Ursa Mini Pro 12K, and you've probably seen it before in this video. I used to call out text, this one right here, which I really liked, and before, I would have to go to After Effects export out a title and then import it in DaVinci Resolve. Really tedious, but now it's here and we can do it all in DaVinci Resolve 17. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of color here. Just translate it to um, uh, Blackmagic Design video, which is this is the new one. If you haven't seen that video where I compared the old one to the new one, go check it out because this new Blackmagic Design video looks so much better than the old one. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to 400. So, you know, it looks kind of cool and Nice and, oh my god, look at those clouds, amazing. Alright, so what we're going to do here is just right click, and we're going to create a new Fusion clip. Now, if you go right here where the sticks and the stars, this is Fusion. Fusion is insane. It is so powerful, but it is node-based. So, it is a little bit scary, but if you take your time with it, like any other software, you can learn this. And uh, what we're going to be looking at is the effects library right here. Click on this again if you haven't seen it. And these templates right here are fusion effects. And you can change these and edit them. They are not standard. So if you go right here and edit, you see these. You can change these in fusion. Okay? So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to change that callout text title and track it onto this footage. So if you go to edit templates... And if you go to call out, I'm going to drag and drop it here. And it's the same exact thing. And basically the plan is I want the text to say Canon R5 and I want it tracked onto this camera right here. All right. So let's go ahead and change the call out to Canon R5. And if you haven't seen the video of the Canon R5 versus Aria Alexa I did last week, go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a really good video. I'm not just saying that because I made it. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and drag it to the uh, media. Pretty much what that does is just merging the two clips together, the text, and then your footage, which is media one. So that's good. So if we press play, you'll see that now you see the Canon R5, but it's pointing the wrong way. It's actually pointing to me. So uh, what we want to do is go ahead and move that. You can either do that here or you can do it down here. So I'm going to go like this and move up. And then the line as well, we're going to move so that it's pointing to the lens of the Canon R5. Okay. All right. So press play. And as you can see, it's moving. It's not tracked. And that's what we're going to fix. So go all the way back, rewind. And what we're going to do next is go to the footage or media, shift space bar. We're going to type in tracker or track. I can't see anything because it's dark in here. Planar tracker. Similar to Mocha Pro uh, right here. Click on the planar tracker. We're going to go ahead and zoom in. And we're going to change the pattern to... I'm not going to do perspective because the perspective didn't really change much. So we can either do translation or rotation. But I think he rotated it a little bit. So I'm going to do the translation or rotation. And then what I'm going to do is just mask the camera. Similar to how you would in Mocha or Mocha Pro. Really cool. And I can't believe this is built in. Uh, DaVinci Resolve 17 for 300 two not, for 299 dollars you get an editor a color suite fusion and Adobe Audition I don't I don't know what else to say so <laughs> without being said let's go ahead and press set this is gonna tell the software I want it to look at that frame so let's go ahead and track to end and as you can see it's doing a really good job tracking that camera there really nice. Okay, so with any good tracker, you always want to go backwards as well. So we're going to go go and then track backwards. I mean, it's probably not necessary, but it's just good practice to go ahead and track backwards. Okay, so when that's done, uh, all you have to do now is create a planar transform. So I'm going to click that and it's going to create a new node right here. So basically, this is kind of like a null if you would, in After Effects. So basically what we're going to do is disconnect this, double click. We're going to copy this call out text, paste it to the null, and then the null we are going to put to the merge. So you kind of see what that's doing? I'm copying the information from the tracker to the text, and we're merging it all together right here with the footage. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom out, and let's see if it works. If not, I suck. All right. And there you go, guys. A track title in Fusion in DaVinci Resolve 17 
with a couple of clicks. So yeah, guys, if you go to the edit page, you're gonna see that here as well. There you go. That's the Canon R5. It's pointing at it. Really sweet. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And like always, I will see you guys later.